Chin Ming Wong comes on with the bases loaded two down. The Red Sox have added to their lead here in the eighth inning. And Wong faces David Ortiz. And what might be his last at bat in Kansas City. Unless the two teams hook up in the playoffs this year. David Ortiz was signed by what organization originally twins I'll bet ninety nine percent of the people watching tonight would say the same thing he was signed by the Seattle Mariners in 1992 and went to Minnesota in a trade for Dave Hollins. That was in 1996. He was the Twins minor league player of the year in 1997. Released by Minnesota in the 2002 offseason. Released. Picked up by the Red Sox. He was the designated hitter of the year in his first year with Boston. 13 years ago. He is out on a ground ball to Hosmer. The Red Sox get one run as Ortiz leaves the bases loaded. And perhaps says goodbye to Coffin Stadium. And that inning, guys, you mentioned David Lazo and the Panera hookup for the crew. I wanted to give a little shout out to the Lazo family. It seems like David's son Jackson was just a young 10 year old when I got here, probably because he was. But he is signed to play basketball, college basketball. Ryan, Paul Splitoff will be proud. I'll give you that hint. Morningside Morningside College Jackson Lazo so congratulations oh, for him. Hanley Ramirez is out on one pitch from Chin Ming Wong. Wong got the final out of the eighth inning. For Alec Mills who ends up giving up one run in two thirds of an inning. And it brings up Travis Shaw. Shaw is 0 for 3 so far. He does have a walk and a run scored. And we mentioned it earlier. That was an important walk. When the Red Sox batted in the sixth inning, it was a 2 1 Boston lead. And with two outs and nobody on, Shaw walked. Rutledge doubled. Bradley was intentionally walked to get to Vasquez. And he had a two run single. That's the biggest hit of the game. So that all started with a Shaw walk and the Red Sox at that point led 4 1. Then 5 1 after a run in the eighth and the Royals just scored in the bottom of the eighth. One ball and two strikes. A lot of power to the opposite field for Travis Shaw. And we were talking earlier about how the Red Sox had an eye on him in high school, drafted him. He went to college and they drafted him out of college. Now, Chili Davis, a one time Royal, has gotten his hands on him. And with that opposite field power as a left hand batter, the green monster at Fenway Park is a very inviting target. Yeah, and when you, when you, play there for a while and you get used to that swing you recognize pitches middle away and you can wear that wall out man, all day long. You brought up Mo Vaughn's name we we're talking about recent guys who have. Just worn out the green monster. Yes Reggie Jefferson we used to be really good at it too. Two down first strikeout for Chin Ming Wong. Hey fans this season at the K. The weekend starts early because every Thursday home game is buck night. Come enjoy Royals baseball while saving some hard earned cash. Enjoy delicious hot dogs and peanuts for just a dollar a piece. Get your ticket now for Thursday buck nights at the K by calling 1-800-6-ROYALS 
or online at royals.com slash promotions buck night come and get you a hot dog was that last line part of the script or was no. that that was just that was an ad lib okay yeah nice work thank you that's an atom ball Royals are down by three as they come up in the bottom of the ninth inning Craig Kimbrell We'll get Kendry's Morales, Salvador Perez, and Chesler Cuthbert.